welcome all of you. This is Poland Daily Culture. My name is Maria Konjelska and the question for today is the fact, do you know that there is a school of named after Polish soldiers in Cambodia? With me on Skype is Piotr Oler, a Polish veteran of the United Nations mission in Cambodia and uh, one of the uh, people who was actually building this school. Uh, Piotr, thank you very much for calling us. Okay. Uh, it is a first-hand interview because you've seen in uh, your own, uh, through your own eyes, uh, this mission to Cambodia. You were there. You, uh, you've recognized. Uh, you remember about it. You took part in this uh, United Nations mission, and moreover, you were also involved involved in building up this Polish school. Uh, why? Uh, where is this school? Why would it was so desperately needed, and how you were building it? It's school is situated on very close in the deep village, very close to the uh, place, town called Takeo. It is uh, south in South Cambo in Cambodia, something about 100 kilometers from the Phnom Penh. The reason why this place, there is the poorest place in Cambodia, the rural place in very poor, poor, poorest place in Cambodia. And we decide to build the school, help to build the school uh, in this place. And another reason was that was the Polish Polish guy who is working for us as a teacher in 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 Takeo. He was he's giving the, his heart as well to help the children to take the better education. And we, as a Polish soldier association, we decide to help them to build the to build the school and they offer to us to give us the special name for the school like you says that's the for the polish veterans united nations so the uh, untak soldier that's that's there is the one place there is the only one place where the polish flag still is on from the 2018 when we opened the school and it is it is there. Do you t can you tell us how many people are in the school, mm, and uh, what uh, it, it is a it is a primary school or is like a a sort of um, I would say a universal. So a lot of a lot of grades, different kids. It's probably in such places usually schools looks like this. When we opened the school, that was uh, three hundred fifty children from seventeen different villages around this place. That place, the school was built in the middle of nowhere. That's mean in the middle of rice field. That was nothing, nothing around there. That was the rice fields and that's in two, three miles from, from that place, no buildings, no villages. But when we start, when we opened the school, that was already 350 children went for opening and start classes. One year after then, when we open at school, that something happened in the world. You know what I mean? That's the pandemic. In Cambodia, they closed all of their schools. For almost two years, that school was closed. Now, we are reopening the school. At the moment, after the renovation, it's something about 200 children already again in the school. There is the, that school is not the primary school. That's the English school only at the moment. The plan, our plan is put the school for the normal education as a primary school. We will see in the future, maybe, maybe, maybe we can do it. So you are uh, basically right now still involved in creating this school. Um, even though you are in England, not traveling to Cambodia, is sort of um, connected still to this place uh, through the school. Am I right? I am still connected with the school. The last time when I uh, when I went to the school, it was April this year. I saw the lots of the happy faces, the happy faces, the ch happy children faces. They are very happy. They knows what we did for them. They all, and also they always asking why you did it for us, why you why are you trying help to us, and you know that's the real happy faces is giving the best 
that, that's the best what they give to me and for the people who's traveling with me and also to the people who, to the people who's observing how is the school growing up. We are very proud. I am very proud for what we did, uh, especially that's the Polish veterans when we start building the school. And now the community of the people who's helping, there is international. That's how the, 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 the school is called as well, international English school. There is the plenty of people coming, working as a voluntary and helping to build the school and teach the children. What a wonderful thing and a wonderful achievement and a good, I mean, jewelry on the top of also your mission and the fact that uh, you are so much connected and could help the future generation of uh, Cambodians growing up there and getting their education and learning English as well. A wonderful thing. Thank you for sharing the story with us and to all of you, the viewers of Poland Daily Culture. If you'd like to support the school in Cambodia, I'm sure there is a way. There will be links under this video. And thank you very much for watching Pearl on Daily Culture.